All right, that's good news. Topping today's health news, we turn our attention to a deadly condition that's commonly known as diabetes, as, as, that's as common rather as diabetes, but many people don't even know they have it. A South Florida woman's own tragic experience has become her motivation to raise awareness about this disease. Local 10 medical specialist Christy Kruger brings us her story. I really feel like what we had, like 0.001% of all the people in the world ever get to, to experience that. Not long ago, April Donaldson had plans to marry and start a family with the man of her dreams. All that changed in June of 2018 when her fiance, Ryan Kerrigan's heart, suddenly stopped. It was like being in a, a nightmare. I thought I was in a bad dream. It was just, there are no words. <laughs> Yeah, I remember now. Ryan never knew he had something called familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH, a life-threatening genetic condition. FH um, increases your chance of having um, heart disease about 20 times if untreated. What's, what's amazing is that when managed, you can really actually reduce that risk dramatically. Cardiologist Dr. Adam Splaver says a combination of LDL over 190 and a family history of heart events are red flags for FH. So familial hypercholesterolemia is actually a, a genetic problem where the gene that's responsible for clearing out LDL cholesterol is actually mutated. It's actually broken. So what happens is LDL cholesterol, or the bad cholesterol, actually builds up in the bloodstream and then causes plaque, or atherosclerosis, to form. The doctor says diet and exercise aren't enough to address FH. Treatment requires prescription medications. More recently, they came up with uh, an antibody uh, that they can infuse uh, through, through a needle. Uh, and what it does is actually it, it lowers LDL, LDL cholesterol dramatically, specifically in this condition. Knowing that one out of every five heart attacks in people under the age of 45 are associated with FH, April is on a mission now to raise awareness and hopefully save lives. It's absolutely senseless. This doesn't have to happen to any person or any family. FH is actually far more common than realized, affecting an estimated one in 250 people, but only about 10% of the people who have it actually get diagnosed. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger.